Kathy and I had just taken an evening stroll around the campground. And it leads us to the nature trail, which we just passed on our left. And then we'll go to that beautiful sunset point right ahead of us. And except for me, there is no sound out here. It's Memorial Day evening. And there's basically nobody here. It looks like the Canyon Rim Trail right there. Mm. And there is an overlook out there. It's probably the end of the nature trail. We'll probably do that tomorrow. Okay. So we're going to continue on to Book Cliffs View. That's where I was last night. Just ahead of us. Yeah, it's pretty. And right here are the Book Cliffs. The overlook. Come right here to this little shelter. Apparently it's on the National Register. How about that? And we're overlooking Monument Valley here again. We saw this last night. An amazing place for sunset. I think it's worth a pan here. We'll take a look at um, Fruta and Grand Junction and the Colorado River down here on the left. Some window rock is right there. That little cliff on the left here and the trail that we saw I think is the window rock trail which goes on top of the window. And we continue around and we find our National Park guest again. <laughs> She's had enough of interviews. But um, what do you think? Any comments about this walk tonight? It's very beautiful and peaceful. Mm, that it is. And quiet. Yeah. Very quiet. And here is a trail. Take us to Window Rock. Like all of these places, every step is a new scene, a new inspiration. And this is a view of the Book Cliff Shelter where we were sitting for the sunset. So I just took a little stroll down from the shelter. Take a look at Monument Valley. A little outcropping here.
It is now Tuesday after Memorial Day. And here, as you can see by this empty parking lot, this National Monument, Colorado National Monument, is empty. Campgrounds are nearly empty. And it's so quiet and peaceful. Onward. All right, so we're heading down the Window Rock Nature Trail, which is also known simply as the Window Rock Trail. This will take us to the top of Window Rock. We'll get views, similar views that we've had before, but be on top of Window Rock, can't actually see it. Let's meander down here a quarter mile. The sun is hot. Mm hmm. We've seen lots of prickly pear with the pinkish red flowers, and here we found yellow. And very quickly we reached the Window Rock Overlook. Again, we're looking at Fruita down there. The Colorado River. And we're coming to the Overlook proper. And uh, we'll pay attention to the sign. And here is the view. A small inner canyon here. And Window Rock is I believe right below these rocks in front of us, the opening in the rock. There it is. Ah, oh, we can see it. Beautiful. All right, so here is the window in the rock. Fantastic country here. If we pan to the right, we see Monument Valley. Much more impressive than I thought before I came here. Now we're approaching the top, made a short little loop, maybe a half a mile in total, returning to the shelter where we were last night. Beautiful little trail, short, with a big return. The Window Rock Overlook Trail. This is the Canyon Rim Trail. We're walking back to the visitor center. So the entire loop is about a mile. And we get those amazing views here on the Canyon Rim Trail, again, of Monument Valley. Now in broad daylight. When you're out here a while, at least me, I get fascinated with these plants. This here is the Utah junipers, with those neat little nuts. And the other common plant here, tree, is the um, pinyon pine, which we have right here. And what a view looking down Wedding Canyon.
incredible. Every step. And we're going to reach the visitor center in just a moment as we continue the canyon rim walk. And we've reached the visitor center. A short little half a mile stroll along the rim. Incredibly scenic. And here is the view from the visitor center. Certainly worth a visit. And this is just scratching the surface of the park here. <laughs> 